Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on geology and relative dating of rocks, looking at geologic principles. And in this video, we're looking at the law of baked margins and contacts. This is the Earth Science Classroom. The principle of baked margins or contacts is in direct connection with another principle called the cross-cutting relationships. Now, cross-cutting relationships is where you have an igneous intrusion coming from deeper below the earth, and this magma is rising up through the pre-existing layers of rock that are mostly sedimentary towards the surface. Now, this is going to change the order and the sequence and the relative dating of the area of rocks, and what's going to happen is this semi-solid molten magma that's rising up because of pressure through the layers towards the surface as a plutonic intrusion. If it reaches the surface, it will be volcanic in nature, but we have this movement of magma through the rock, and as it moves through the rock, it's going to change the rock. It's going to bake and add thermal energy and change the rock in terms of metamorphism because metamorphic rock is any rock that has been changed through heat and pressure. Now we have a variable amount of pressure based on the depth caused by this igneous intrusion, this magma rising up through the rock layers, but we definitely have a lot of heat. So thermal changes to the pre-existing what's called country rock, the rock which is being pushed through by the igneous intrusion, the pre-existing rock, and it's going to be changed because of this addition of excess heat. And the minerals and the chemical and physical structure of the minerals in those country rocks are going to be changed because of the heat. Now, the change is mostly going to be into a non-foliated metamorphic rock. And the area in which it's being baked or created is called the, the aureole. Both Hutton and Lyle suggested this cross-cutting relationships, and then Lyle, in his third volume in 1833, looked at the effect of these intrusive igneous dikes going through the pre-existing rock and looking at how the changes occurred to the country rock because of the heat. So this is contact metamorphosis or metamorphism. It's the addition of heat with pressure to change the rock that's sedimentary, in this case, to a metamorphic rock, which is non-foliated, which means that the pressure is not there to align the minerals in horizontal bands or foliations. However, it's going to be more of a mix of smaller crystals and minerals in a more random alignment. So the degree of metamorphism is based on the depth and pressure and how much heat is applied and also the time. But towards the surface, we have these changes. Let's say we have these layers of sedimentary rock by the surface. We have sandstone, limestone, siltstone, mudstone. Now, what's going to happen when they are in contact with this igneous intrusion, the magma, and there'll be metamorphosis occurring to these pre-existing country rocks? these sedimentary rocks. So sandstone is going to turn into quartzite with, with heat and pressure. Limestone is going to turn into marble. Siltstone is going to turn into slate. And mudstone will turn into hornfells. Now hornfells is very common in this situation with any kind of contact metamorphism. And all of these are non-foliated. So they work and they form these metamorphic rocks around the contact areole and the magma itself, the igneous intrusion, is going to cool down and turn into igneous rock. However, there is a variable of heat. The closer you are to the country rock, the colder the environment, the faster the magma is going to cool down when in contact with a colder environment and therefore the crystal size that's formed within the igneous rock, the intrusive igneous rock, will be smaller. The hotter and the longer time period that the magma takes to cool down, the crystals will be larger. So this is called the law of chilled margin. So you can see the position or location of the magma, the intrusive igneous intrusion, based on the size of the crystals in the igneous rock that's formed. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.